Okay, so uh, here's the video for y'all. Um, if you have a KTM 65 that will not start, and you've tried everything, maybe it's the electrical. And here's uh, what happened to us, and here's how I diagnosed it, and then you can use this for your benefit. So um, we had a 2020 KTM 65 that uh, we were riding along a trail, and it stopped working. Now, one unique thing is the One second here, I'll show you the ignition coil bracket broke, okay? Um, it had already a broken tab. I had just rebuilt it. I saw one broken tab, and I kind of gave it like a redundant ground. Excuse the poor camera work while we get this tank off. Okay. So, um, you can see here that the bracket that secures the coil to the bike and grounds the whole circuit was is broken and it broke officially so we ran out of gas is what I initially thought we were low on our tank it seemed like a gas issue it just kind of bogged to a die and then would not restart after we re refilled it I found this coil broken I thought okay it's the ground we'll move on we'll fix that and um, well before I get this welded up um, I went ahead and provided a ground through a, just a, a wire that I secured um, to the grounding tabs I gave it two just to make sure it had enough current that could flow. Oh, that one fell off. And uh, the bike still would not start. So then I started testing the electrical because I knew that even though when we weld this, it wasn't going to start. So um, here is your, this is your uh, kill switch. Okay. I tested that. I made sure it operated with the button. I had an ohms meter here. And you can see the ohms change when you push the button probing on the female side of this butt plug okay and then I tested the ignition coil cap to coil so I'll take you take your meter leads put it on ohms which is the horseshoe symbol and then you put one of them let me get you some sorry for the poor camera work here but all right so here we go um, I'm gonna show you in just one second once I get my hands free with this test. All right, let's see. All right, so in the, out of camera here, I have the one probe touching the terminal cap, and then you'll touch the ground of the. Uh, let's see if you can see it. Oh my gosh, backing up. So, all right, here we go. You can see the ground of the ignition coil here, where that orange bracket is. You touch that, basically that bolt area. Um, the back of the bolt you've seen in this picture here. Okay, and that's your measurement. And you sit there and hold it till it gets steady. Okay, and then my measurement is, and I wish I could show you it. 11 kilo ohms. This is so fancy can work. Okay, my measurement on that coil cap to ground. Come on, thing. I'm trying to get y'all reading just so you can have it to verify for your own bikes. Yeesh. 11.19 kilo ohms. You see that? Okay, so is that good or bad? I don't know. I can't find a spec, but guess what? It is good. I have a comparison bike, and it's very close to that. It's within a couple tenths of that reading. So this is that room temp, by the way. You got to do all your readings at cold uh, temperature. So um, the next test is what about the stator? Did it burn up the stator? Maybe when it was having a bad ground, it started to um, overheat the stator. So I actually pulled the stator off to get a better look at it. It was not melted, obviously, but um, I did do my ohms testing there too. And so you have two, you have four wires that come off the stator. You have the red and blue, which are your actual windings uh, all together, and then you have your pickup, which is uh, the green, white stripe and red, white with a red stripe. Okay, they're smaller diameter wires. So, checking those, and you can see some uh, odd, it looks like it overheated, uh, did not look too healthy there, uh, so I was worried about it, 
but uh, I'll show you on this one. Unplugged it. Got my red bar glue. And I ohms tested those two pins together. And, and I got like 18 ohms, I think it was. Let's get this thing in view. Oh man. This side's harder to do. Forgive me for the bad camera work, but this is going to help you so much if you have a bike that will not start. So red, all we're doing is front probing with the ohms meter, voltmeter, golly, sorry guys, goodness gracious, try again. Let's try this like this. I can hold it all with one hand, maybe. I'm in the ohm setting, the horseshoe symbol on my meter. I'm going on the connector side of the stator. Pin to pin, red to blue, and boom, 18 ohms. Okay. Again, that's the red and blue wires, 18 ohms on your stator. That's a good reading. Okay. Your pickup, just for reference, is about 103. There's your pickup, 102.8. That's this guy right here, the pickup. The green and white stripe and the white with red stripe. Okay, that's all my readings. And I didn't know if they were good or bad. It seemed like they were maybe bad, especially the 18 ohms. I don't know, I expected more. Um, I also tested, for example, and this is a good test to do, is it short at the ground? I took my red or blue, didn't matter. And I put my probe on just a chassis ground and I still have OL, which means I do not have continuity to ground from the coil windings, okay? So that's another check you need to do. But with that said, and I'm, I might have missed some of that. I was holding it with my chin. But 18 ohms, red to blue, that's through all the windings. 103 ohms on the pickup. 11.3 uh, kilo ohms on the coil from the cap. To the ground of the coil okay and I made sure that my kill switch was not engaged you should be OL on that unless you push the button and then you'll see some ohms so then what's left is the CDI box here's our CDI box okay and I had access to a known good bike here good running bike 2015 KTM by the way so 2020 here 2015 same electronics so what I did is I unplugged and I'll demonstrate for you That's our CDI box on the 2020, and I'm going to put my cap back on, okay? <sighs> Decent fit, and the cap did not snap, but it went on. Okay, and then I'm going to connect my, my uh, stator, and all of this electronics goes to the CDI box, and then... To the spark so you got to take that into factor here all right got that plugged in so stators plugged in coils on I got my ground supplied through the jumper wires okay and I actually do have some fuel in here I dropped a little fuel I know the tanks off but I, I dropped some into the bowl and then took the tank back off okay so then you'll notice it does not start okay now and this is probably the only way I know how to test a CDI box, is to swap it.
clicked in the CDI box from the 15 that I know runs. Got all my funky wiring up here, supply and ground. Everything works. So what I know now, probably because the coil bracket broke and it overheated, there's probably a transformer in here. So the stator supply and voltage here, it's, it's stepping it up to the coil, most likely, something like that. I'm not sure 100%, but it burned the box. We had a good CDI box, and then it broke right about the time we broke the uh, coil bracket. So with that said, that is how you're going to diagnose the electrical circuit on your KTM. So that's 103 on the pickup, 18 pin to pin on the stator, ready to blue wire. And about 11.3 kilo ohms from the cap to the chassis ground on your coil. Those are your tests. And always remember to check your kill switch. Make sure it's not accidentally stuck on. That's how you're going to fix a no start on a KTM 65. That you've done everything else to it. Maybe it's your electrical. Okay, just to continue the uh, results a little bit more here. Uh, some CDI box testing. There are seven pins total in this box. Um, this this one is our known good. This is our bad one. And the known the seven pins that are used is the left, the far left, right here, on the top and bottom. And then there's three up top here. And then uh, there's two right here, I believe. Okay, so I uh, this one looks like the ground. So I by the color it looks like a gray wire. So comparing these measurements from this ground wire here to this top right pin, this, again, that's this left far bottom left pin from locating from the locking tab, far bottom left pin to the top right pin. There's a huge difference in my readings, okay? So I have, on this one, I have uh, somewhere I'll, let's see if I can do it again. like 26 mega ohms I think and then on the bad one 